This is the Hario Cold Brewer. It's only 35 bucks, it's extremely easy to use, and it has saved me during this quarantine. Hey, welcome back to another Is It Worth It luxury review where I normally review fancy travel things like hotels, suitcases, things like that. But uh, today's video is going to be a little different because like many of you, I'm forced to work from home. But I'm still excited to do this video because I get to share with you guys something that I'm really happy I found, something I'm really happy I purchased, and something that I think is really worth it. So let's talk about the Hario Cold Brewer. Now, I'm a big cold brew person. I will drink iced coffee, whether it's 30 degrees or 90 degrees out. I just love cold brew. But as many of you know, cold brew tends to be more expensive. At most stores, cold brew is like four to five bucks a cup. So when you're working from home, you can't keep buying that. So I really like the solution because one, it's only $35, but two, it's really, really easy to use. There's only three parts. There's the carafe, which holds the coffee in it. There's the filter, this is where the brewing happens, and then there's the lid. This lid may look a little different because this is the blue bottle version of the Perio Cold Brewer. This lid can also come in a nice light blue, which is, is really nice as well. One really cool thing that I like about it is you can choose whatever coffee goes in here. So if you want to be reminded of Italy, the Amalfi Coast, Venice, you can use Lavazza here. Or if you want to be reminded of the New Jersey Turnpike and a pit stop, then we have Dunkin' Donuts here. All right, so let's actually get into how easy it is to do. I'm going to show you how quick and simple this is. First step is you need medium coarse grinds. If you use anything too fine, it's actually going to seep through this filter. It's a very fine micro filter, but the, the fine grinds can still They'll come through and that's going to make your coffee kind of uh, have a texture to it, be a little mushy maybe, have uh, some, some bits in it. So I don't like that, but if you like it, that's fine. But I, I personally don't like that. So I go with medium grind. So what we're going to do is we're just going to twist off the top here. We're going to take our grinds and just pour them into the filter. If you had a funnel, this would be a lot cleaner. <laughs> I don't have a funnel. <laughs> oh my God, I'm spilling everywhere. <laughs> don't show the don't show the spill. Don't show the spill. Stop. And then one tip, I learned this in Italy. Um, this is a traditional Italian thing. What you do is you, you just put a little bit of the grinds on the counter, and then you just kind of get it on like that. Credit card, you can do that, and then. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'd fill it up to about here, as you can see. You don't have to go all the way to the top because your lid still has to fit on there. But you know, fill it how you please. You're then gonna do a little splash of water on top just to get things going. Never wanna go in completely dry. And then we're just gonna throw this, put the top on here to the filter. Simple twist, get that locked in. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process. Just gotta find where those notches are and find the notch here. And pop this into the lid so that it's suspended in the carafe and it's able to brew. And then you just pop it right on top of the carafe and we're ready to add water. Pretty simple, right? So now it's time to add some water. Let's just grab some filtered water here. It's time to brew some coffee. All right, so now we just gotta pour the water into the carafes to start brewing the coffee. I'm just gonna pour it through the top here. And uh, there we have it, guys, a cheap alternative to cold brew. All right, so once you've filled it to the top, just take your lid, pop it on like that. And then I usually give it a little swirl, get things going a little bit. <laughs> we filled it to the top. You can actually already see it's starting to brew. So we're gonna pop this in the fridge. We're gonna give it about eight hours. That's a minimum, uh, 12 hours if you want it a little stronger. So what I actually like to do is I like to uh, make it at night and then pop it into the fridge so it brews overnight while I'm sleeping. That way when I wake up, I have a fresh batch waiting for me for breakfast. So it's been about 12 hours now, it's the next day. And uh, yeah, the coffee came out. It's a lot darker as you can see, so it's gonna be pretty strong. That's because we, we brewed it for 12 hours. One thing you'll notice is that the filter portion of it actually takes up a good amount of volume of the carrot. So when you pop off the top, you're gonna notice you don't have a full bottle here. You're gonna have, you know, a little portion missing. But don't worry, this is cold brew. This brewed over a really long time. So as my friend Tuco would say, this is gonna kick like a donkey. No. All right, so let's make a glass here. Nice cup. Ice. I'm gonna pop the top off. All 
and then I like to, you don't have to, cold brew tends to be smoother than hot brew coffee, so you don't really need a lot of sugar, but I like to just throw a little one like that, and voila, we have a beautiful, delicious, homemade cold brew. So for cleaning, very simple, just twist the lid off, got your grinds here, just give it a nice rinse, and yeah, you're good to go. I mean, that's it. You're ready to start brewing. Give this a nice rinse. That's all you need to do. Again, like I said, really, really easy. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you found it useful. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna buy one of these? Do uh, you have an alternative to cold brewing? To me, this is the easiest solution I've ever found, so I'm really happy and I'm stuck with this one. Um, and then yeah, please subscribe for more videos like this. I'm gonna have a series on work from home where I'm gonna show you the things that have made my life easier while working from home. It's gonna be a video on like my widescreen monitor, which is really good for productivity. Video on not having children. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for your support as always. And I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is like from when I first bought my place. Oh, this expired technically. Can water expire? It's like fallout. It's easier to pour out of the Voss bottle. It's the douchiest thing I've said all day.